All right, hello everybody, and this is a Christian Prince with you. Short, I received an email in uh, Facebook, uh, someone from the Philippines saying to me that there is someone in the Philippines, he thinks he is a big shot, and obviously he is. He is a big shot to the point he do not know even how to say his prophet name correctly. He do not know even how to say the word Quran correctly. He do not know how to mention names, any name in his Quran correctly. I notice that in Asia, there's many people are doing business. A job, it's hard to find a job in the Philippines. I mean, it's I, I understand. And the best way is to say or to claim that you are Ustaz. Do you know what he says? He called himself Ustaz Ahmad. Ustaz? Do you know what Ustaz mean, Master? <laughs> okay, I have an offer for Master Ahmed. I am. I want to be your student, and the best way to learn from a master is to debate the master. So, Your Majesty, Ustaz, and you are a master, and your name is Ahmed, and they told me that you are looking for Christians to debate you, but you cannot find them. I mean, where is the Christians? What, what happened? They are gone. Here we go. The humble me, who is not Ustaz, I'm not Ustaz. You see, I did not reach that point yet. I mean, maybe after 70, 80 years from now, maybe a thousand years from now, I will be Ustaz. You are the Ustaz and you are the one who wear a tie that you are a Muslim teacher or a scholar. I challenge you to accept to debate me. And you do not need to come over and I come over. I'm speaking to you from over Skype and we broadcast live in YouTube. If you are really an Ustaz, master, a master, not somebody making a business, there is no reason for you to say no. Because anyway, you are going to crush me. I mean, there's no Christians can debate you. You're a big shot, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying from laughing. You remember, guys, that guy, his name, Rashid Andesan? Friend of Rashid Andesan, Rashid Andesan, he ran away from debating me, even though we called him at home, asking him, like, come on, man, we are waiting for you. And that coward, he will not do it. Now, do this guy, I assure you, he don't. Those people, my friend, they are doing business over the poor Filipinos. It's a good job. He got support. He got a salary from Saudi Arabia. He got a donation from the Gulf. And those Filipinos, they think like he's a big shot. And he is, wow, Prophet Muhammad, Allahu Akbar, miracles of the Quran. I mean, let us debate about your Quran. will be dying from laughing. Stupid book ever exists in history. I'm not going to quote for you now, but you can, you can watch my videos and you can laugh yourself. So if you are a Filipino, please contact him and say to him, he is a challenge in you and he is accusing you with no, you see, we do not need to be polite here. I'm not going to call him names. You know, we are not calling names, we are not insulting, but I challenge them. I believe strongly that all of those people, they are doing a scam. They don't even know how to their prophet name. You see, they are trying, it, it's a business. Zakir Naik, he copied, did that. But is Zakir Naik a scholar? This guy is the biggest idiot ever in history of Islam. Let us say the customers, they are dumb and dumb. Say whatever he say, they say, hey, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Let him come to me and so we can love. If you are a Filipino or not a Filipino, please copy the video. Load it everywhere. And let us show them world who fear debate. Only a person who believes that your God is the true God, and your book is a book of God, debate about it. Don't debate people who do not know anything. Don't go and say who is a Christian when to debate me, and this Christian he have no idea what are you talking about. You are an ustaz on Islam. Degrees you have, 
degree from the Balut University? Or maybe you graduated from uh, the Lou soup. What those Muslims are talking about? They have no idea. You see, those Muslims in to knows what Islam is about. The Muslims who they are Arab, they don't dare to debate us. He says to your Prophet Muhammad, if you are in doubt about what we gave to thee, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. And do you know what Christians is talking about? The Christians of the Middle East. Even your Prophet himself, to learn about God, his God told him, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. And do you know what the Christians and the Jews, they said to Muhammad? You are a scam. Man, and you dare let me know. I posted down the video a link for my page in the Filipino uh, page. You can contact me there and be the man. And I promise you, I will, I will treat you with a lot of respect. We are going to do a professional debate. If people laugh, it's not my fault, and people really will love guaranteed. So be this. Otherwise, do what Rashid and the son does. He run, and suddenly he is not the sheikh no more. Beat me, uh, Rashid and the son. In the son, he debate only real American, <laughs> real American. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, so if I am not a real American, I will you not debate me? What does that mean? What what real American mean? I Beat it real American, real American. This guy is not real American. He have an accent. <laughs> you believe it? Coward. Guy, he will not say, I debate only a real American. Are you real Arab? You're a prophet is an Arab. Your Quran is an Arab, and yet you are asking to debate an American. Are you? So be the man. I'm waiting for your answer. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to download the video, share it with everywhere. Skype, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you can. Even if you are not a Filipinos. Show everybody who is the, the one is running. They have big mouth. As long the ones around them, they have no idea. The second they notice that they are in the wrong place in the wrong time, it, for they knew they are liars. And if this man is a true believer, he should debate me because that will make Allah increase the size of his private part as Muhammad he promised. Number of the versions Allah will give him as he promised. Don't you want to get extra size? Size doesn't matter for Allah. Even Allah, which means God of Islam, his name is Allah, and he is bigger for he is an idol. If he is really a man who dare, I'm waiting for the answer. Thank you very much for watching. And today we will be after uh, at 4:30 p.m., which means a few hours from now, five hours from now, something like that. So be with us. God bless you. And Mr. Ustaz Ahmed, uh, whatever your name, you better quit your job. For if you debate me. He will become more famous and you will become a celebrity. Speak of your name in every Friday night when they are drunk. God bless you all. Take care.